What is Lisa bumping in the car? Tina Turner. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's us. In the moment, with Lisa. More than 80 years ago, right here in this garage, there was a moment that gave rise to Silicon Valley. It's where Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard started HP. Moments like these are at the heart of innovation and inspiration, and we're on a mission to capture them. Well, welcome to the garage. So when you were fixing, was it your brother's remote control car, did you even imagine where you are today that that's what would led to this where you are? Were you standing in the garage right now? No, I mean, <laughs> this is like an amazing place, but I kid you not, you know, we're, we're in our, you know, home that I grew up in, in Bayside, New York, and, you know, my brother had this remote controlled car and it stopped working. And so you, you get your screwdriver out and you open it up and you're like, oh, there's a loose wire. Let's see if we can, you know, fix it. So when you look around here and you look at all these pieces, you're like, well, yeah, that's what we do. We, we build things, we fix things, we make things that uh, people didn't think were possible. The pandemic made it clear that semiconductors are absolutely essential to everything that we do. Was there a moment when you realized that your passion for the semiconductor industry was something that you really wanted to follow? So, you know, I, I had, you know, different jobs as I was uh, in school, you know, like one was programming and Honestly, programming is, is fine, and I know it's the hot thing right now, everyone's in software, <laughs> but like it wasn't really interesting to me because you're sitting at a computer all day, right? So with semiconductors, um, my, my first job, I was doing absolute grunt work, so, you know, for sure, but I was going into the lab, I was turning dot dials, I was taking things out, I was looking in a microscope, and I said, wow, like this is amazing. Like I'm doing, you know, I'm making these little, little things and, um, you know, these things will make a difference someday. So that's how I got into semiconductors. Uh, and um, I will say, I still feel it's amazing. While building AMD from the turnaround story that you've had, what were some lessons that you learned along the way that you would share with, with us? Every company and every team needs to know what are they really good at. And uh, so for me, and AMD, I mean, we are a product company, we are a technology company. So it, it was, it's as simple as waking up every day and making sure everybody understands that we are here to build great products. So you, you say a quote about great leaders um, are not born, but are trained. My goodness, do you know how many mistakes we each make? And so, yeah, I think great leaders are absolutely trained. And um, the key is those who are willing to learn. Can you share one of those mistakes with us? You know, I'm an engineer, right? So I'm an engineer turned business person. And so my first business I ran, I kid you not, um, I was in the job two months and I committed, you know, my first budget. Mm. And uh, within two months, I was 50% off my budget. And of course, my boss told me that it was the end of the world. And you know what? He was right. I was fortunate enough that somebody let me learn. You know, frankly, and so I'm a big believer in um, you know taking chances on great people, and if you give people good opportunities, they'll they'll become you know great leaders along the way. It's like this is like the next ten years that yeah. we're going to be talking about what AI can do. All right, fill in the blank. One word. The future of AI is mind blowing. <laughs> right. Everywhere you go, every conversation. It oh. doesn't matter what it is I'm there to talk about. <laughs> The conversation is, Lisa, what should I do about AI? And I really appreciate that because we are in a place where, you know, the road isn't clear yet. Yeah. And so we have to learn together. And what I love about this technology is usually, you know, people want to hold back and yeah. want to see what other people are doing to figure it out. AI is different. AI, people want to be at the front of the pack because they realize that you know, this is like a defining moment. And if I think about the progress in AI over the last six months, um, it's a completely different space. And, and that's the difference about, um, you know, sort of where technology is today and, and what makes it so exciting, frankly. I mean, I, I think I'm more excited today than I was, you know, 10 years ago. And I'm like, that's hard to believe, frankly. Well, I mean, I, I should be bored, right? Yeah, but I mean. There's nothing boring about what we're doing. I'm gonna give you a, a question. First thing that comes to mind, it'll be fun ones. I'll try I not promise. to have bad answers. Oh, stop it. All right, what is Lisa bumping in the car? Tina Turner. Yes! Tina yes! Turner. I was listening to her just this morning. She is phenomenal. First job ever. I delivered papers in junior high school. How much did you get paid? Oh man, it was like $2 a 
two dollars a week maybe ooh, ooh. <laughs> i had my bike though i had to drop them off favorite part of working at amd i love the engineers i love going down to the lab and watching them bring up products that's like my favorite moment when a new product comes into the lab it's it's beautiful i want in i want to see the lab i'm telling no you no problem I'm, we'll I'm there so we've heard you love golf i do fair? enjoy playing golf i'm not good though <laughs> not good all right. So these are 3D printed. Yeah, that counts. That, that goes counts. in. That counts. <laughs> All right. That works. What does this space right here, the garage, mean to you personally? This is like goosebumps. I mean, this is goosebumps. This is this is because this is what it's all about, right? I mean, we are we are engineers by training. When we talk about, you know, you know, HP or Bill and Dave or what they were doing in this garage, it's about building things and it's about how can you make a difference, right? If you think about all the history of what HP has meant uh, to Silicon Valley, um, yeah, it's it's pretty special. I want to personally thank you, and it's just an honor to be able to come in here and people get to hear your journey. So I appreciate you so much, Lisa, for coming in. Thank you so much, Ryan. It's been a true honor and so much fun.